We'll guide you through how to download multiple photos from Google Drive on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, we'll show you how you can download one photo or video at a time on your iPhone, and then I'll show you how you can download multiple. To download one at a time, find the photo or video in the Google Drive app, then go over to the right and click on the three dots like so. Scroll down this menu here and click on send a copy like so. And then you can scroll down and we then have the option for save image. So then you can press on save image and it will then go and be downloaded to your camera roll. Now you may be in the position of where you want to download multiple or maybe an entire folder of photos and videos. What you need to do is make sure all the photos and videos are in one folder. To go and do that if they're spread about, all you need to do is hold your finger on one of them and then you can go and start selecting them. And you can also tap on the select all button in the top right as well. And then once you've got them selected, you click on the three dots in the top right and you press move. And then you can click on my drive and you press on the new folder button in the top right. And I could then name this uh, download or whatever. You can name anything just so you know what it is and press move here. And just like that, you've now got all the photos or videos in one place which you want to download because as you can see, it's called download is there. And so then what we'll do is download this entire folder and we can then save it to our camera roll. All you'll need to do is close off the Drive app and open up Safari or a browser and then come to the bottom here and you want to type in drive.google.com. If you aren't already signed into your Google account, then you will be asked to go and sign in and then you should be taken to your Google Drive. If not, after signing in, just type in drive.google.com again and here we are. Then what we need to do is go and get the desktop version of the site. To do that, you tap on the two A's in the bottom left and click on request desktop website and here we are. Find the folder which you wish to download. For me, it was this one called download. Click on the three dots to the right of the folder and then go and click on download like this. What's going to happen is, is the folder is going to be put into a zip file and that's just like a compressed file. And you then get a pop-up saying, do you want to download it? Click on download and it will download. The time that the zip and the download takes will vary depending upon how many photos and videos there are. And then you want to go and press on the two A's and the download button in the bottom left in the address bar and click on downloads. And here is the zip folder. Click on it and it will go and open up in your downloads folder. And we need to unzip it. To do that, you just click on it once and go and click on the folder. And here are the photos and videos. For me, it's just photos. And then now in the files app, but to add them to the photos app, what you need to do is go to the top right and click on the three dots and then click on select, then click on select all in the top left and then go to the bottom left and click on the share button and scroll down and click on save to images. 